So Charles Dickens wrote a number of different Christmas stories, and one of them became a play during the reign of Queen Victoria in London, and the producers, Dirks and Pepper, decided that the play, which was about a haunted man, should have a real live ghost on stage. And they invented a completely new technology to make this happen. And what they did was they had a live action actor on stage interacting with a pane of glass that the audience couldn't see. But that pane of glass reflected a live action actor who was off stage, giving it this feel of an apparition that there was a real ghost on stage. It was an amazing event in theater history. And Using our time machine, we've gone to the future and seen how much this has affected future events, such as Hitchcock's 39 Steps movie, uh, Diamonds Are Forever, the 007 movie, and of course, The Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. Now, the way that the Pepper's Ghost illusion works, it's based on the same kind of thing you see with a window in your house at night versus day. So let's say you're inside your house looking at one of the windows and it's nighttime. The window will serve as a mirror. You'll see what's inside the room reflecting back to you. But if you're outside in the darkness looking in, there's nothing reflected. You just see what's into the room. So the window is both a mirror and a window, depending on which side you are and how much light there is on either side. If you tilt now this pane of glass so that it's partially a mirror looking at someone off stage or maybe even under the stage, you can actually get the feeling that this is actually floating. This image is floating in the middle of the air, and it has a very ghostly, illusory feel.